uh, I'm Rebecca Stamelio Eret, and I am the project director for uh, Edgecombe Community College's high altitude balloon team. And our team is called Critically Stable, named by uh, one of the students in the past year. We have been part of a challenge and competition sponsored by NASA and NC Space Grant for the past three years. And we have also turned those uh, projects that we've worked on for the NC Space Grant uh, NASA competition into SkillsUSA projects. This is one of our students, uh, Emily Moore. She's been on the team for a couple of years. I'll let you, her tell you a little bit about what she's done. So the first year of the project, I was really the paper person because I didn't know that much about STEM. I helped with the initial design of the payload. And then my first year we competed in the engineering design challenge at Skills, we won state. Then at nationals we placed fourth in the college division. And last year I was part of the career pathway team, which we designed this with Emily Brake and Chad LaChapelle. And Copeland. And, and Copeland. And we just outlined what our project was and how because a big part of the career pathways part is community involvement. So we focused on getting more children, especially high school student, students involved in STEM. This past year, like Emily was saying, this is uh, one of their posters. Here's a couple of their payloads. So it's a high altitude balloon, goes up to 80 to 100,000 feet uh, near space where some interesting things can start to happen. We usually have uh, cameras and sensors and a lot of years we have different projects uh, or experiments. This year their experiment was more of an engineering sort of project. Uh, Garrett Parker worked on a telemetry system. Um, so when we set up our high altitude balloons, we hope and pray and follow online that it's going to come back to us or that it's gonna land down and we're gonna be able to find it. Cause otherwise we don't get our pictures and our data and our information. There's some stuff out there that's really expensive and, but there isn't really any sort of off the shelf thing that you can take for high altitude balloons. So also with an undergraduate research um, grant uh, from the community college system and also NC Space Grant. Garrett was able to study telemetry systems and he tried a couple different ones and he was able to successfully transfer live video back while the balloon was in flight and also to send back temperature data uh, through a different system. His telemetry system worked up to about 44,000 feet and his live video maxed out around 30.